to give than to receive. He had no access to formal education, but he put a premium on the need for scientific enlightenment. Bringing this to his people, he built a bar grammar school and placed it in the custody of Bender State University. Acknowledging the significance of security, he built Uba Police Station and a bar police station, complete with barracks, accommodation, and four brand new security vehicles. In his continuous quest for community development, he built and donated a bar head center to the Bender State Government. In the course of his life, he gave scholarships to more than 100 students, donated land and built houses for more than 150 people, including numerous employees. The man, Dr. E.I.E. Efenayi, is an oxymoron, a contradiction, a paradox, an icon, and an enigma. He built something from nothing. Then he gave almost everything away and became poor. Not poverty, but wealth without liquidity. Sometimes, I will advise him to sell some of his assets for his comfort. Always, he will reply, I don't need it. He was always calm under pressure and blessed with an immeasurable capacity to endure hardship. I'm glad that I announced to him on numerous public occasions that he is the greatest man that ever lived. <laughs> Dear Father, you didn't attend any primary school or university, but you were blessed with a heavy dose of common sense. You shared your estate that you refused to sell for your comfort to your children. It is my duty to execute the assignment that you nurtured me right from childhood to perform in your stead. Now that every man is in the know of what belongs to him, we shall work individually and collectively to support those that are down on their luck in our quest to achieve financial independence for all. My dear father, I love you with all my heart. It is my duty to bury you. I did not put a premium or put any burden on my brothers and sisters. I built a 14-room and suit duplex with three city rooms in our central community to serve as our family homestead. It belongs to the Yayi family and cannot be inherited by my children or anybody whatsoever. <laughs> I made provision for 3,000 aswebi at my expense. It is only one design, color, and type for our family, <laughs> friends, and well wishers. It is not for sale. King Sonia Ade shall perform, but there shall be no spraying of money. Behold, I regret that in times past, I was part of the crowd that demonstrated such futility of vanity. We are celebrating humility. Therefore, we must occupy the moral high ground and show enlightened examples. The first son will not be invited to dance. As a matter of fact, the Yayu homestead will dance together. <laughs> Dear Father, I want you to know that by your examples, you demonstrated that a man can count his houses, his academic achievements, and his weight 
but those intangibles that can that really count in the world of selfish vanity cannot be counted. Love, empathy, philanthropy, dignity, courage, forgiveness, duty, honor, and justice. I am glad to tell you that all your employees at EIE Brothers, although they are not generating revenue, are now the responsibility of Caesar Engineering and Construction Limited. I started paying their salaries, including previous unfair wages from October 2018. I have assured students that you place on scholarships that I will honor your commitment to them. As a matter of fact, in the third week of February 2019, I paid the school fees of two of the children of your former drivers at the University of Benin on the heels of the, on the, heels of the resumption of academic activities at those institutions. I was struck with awe when the accountant of EIA Brothers notified me that 50% of your monthly payroll is dedicated to people that are not your employees. Father, you are truly one of a kind. I know my father inside out. The bond between us is stronger than the combined forces of dark energy and dark matter. Though invisible, the magnetism between us is so profound that I catch myself getting his inspiration from heaven. Even then, I got to know him more after he passed on. All that he gave away made him poor in liquidity, came back a thousandfold. Goodwill messages coming in from ordinary people the world over. People talk about his humility, the scholarship, his spirit of forgiveness, his empathy and his love for the downtrodden. When people say that I should step into my father's shoe, I know in my inner mind that I can never fill his shoes. He had no enemies. I have legion. He turned the other cheek, I would do it the other way. <laughs> Truth is, there can never be another doctor, EIA Fionnaghi. He's one of a kind. Dear Dad, I shall make my grave next to yours. Just the way yours will be next to your mother. Because I want to be with you permanently, even in death. I remember that you visited me many times a few months before you went to heaven. You told me to bring the family together and take care of your wives. I submit to you that we have an utterly united EI homestead. I am glad to tell you that our family signature is strength through unity. Imagine the combined strength of 18 assemblies working together in unity of purpose. Yes, we built so much from nothing. Now it is our duty to make a quantum leap from the foundation that you created. Therefore, it is up to us to ensure that the Yai Homestead will not perish from the face of the earth. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're my mama, my brother. Yeah, you. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 
Ya ji me re solo o pon ni ya ye pe Ya ji me re nyanga o pon ni ya ye pe Ya ji me re fafa o pon ni ya ye pe re solo o pon ni ya ye pe Ya ji me pa ne o pon ni ya ye pe Ya ji me se me ya e o pon ni ya ye pe Ya ji me bo sa ne o pon ni ya ye pe o Jesus ne o pon ni ya ye pe Distinguished ladies and gentlemen this is loaded there's nothing more to say. I want to appreciate Dr. Cesar Iyayi very specially and to thank the family of Iyayi. I'm sure that so many people are not just close to tears, but in tears. As a matter of fact, it's a long lasting impression he has created here today. So many people have never seen this aspect. But Dr. Caesar, yeah, you exactly. have seen. Ladies and gentlemen, you are outstanding. Let's give the honor to Dr. Osaheni. Yeah, yeah. Once more. Let's keep just keep just keep rounding. Around the just keep clapping. Just keep clapping. Just keep clapping. Just keep clapping. Oh. And I know that the saints that has left us is waving. Thank you. Ben. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tunde. Uh, we're making progress, and with the permission of the clergy, yeah. Yeah. with the permission of the clergy, Tunde yeah. will invite yeah. Yeah. the yeah. next person to pay tribute to our daddy. Thank, Thank you, you so very, very much. much. But just before then, I'm sure it's going to be on the LED. Your, your search engine, put it on the YouTube, and EIE Homestead, written together, is being streamed live. EIE Homestead on YouTube, streaming live. But just before then, let me quickly say that while the ceremony proceeded, we had the arrival of uh, the Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration, Unibank, Professor Ibuamonsa Omari. You came in, right? You're welcome. And this offers us the opportunity to uh, bring on to the days to say something by way of tribute. We're talking about Professor Mike Aziken, DVC Academics, but representing the Vice Chancellor, University of Benin, Professor FFO, or ONC. Let's appreciate him as he comes over. Thank you. Have you forgotten the round of applause? Academic round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Again. Again. That has do. saved you from carryover. You don't do. <laughs> yeah, I represent the seated. vice chancellor today on this solemn occasion. He would have loved to be here, but duty calls. He's far away outside the shores of this country right now. This is a tribute to late Dr. Efionai Iyayi, MFR. By Engineer Professor FFO Orunese, FNSE, Vice Chancellor, University of Benin, Benin City, at the commendation service of late Dr. Iyayi Efionayi, holding this day, 22nd of March 2019, at Akindeko Main Auditorium, University of Benin, Uboro Campus. I want to stand on the existing protocol. But let me just recognize these few persons here, the principal officers of the University of Benin, provost, deans and directors here present, heads of department and unit head here present, officiating priests, members of the great EIE Efionai family here present staff and students of the University of Benin, friends and well-wishers, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, the earth has witnessed the passing of a loyal and dependable friend, a distinguished philanthropist, a foremost industrialist, 
an astute administrator, icon of truth, and a man with great sense of community, a beloved patriarch of the Ifeona Iyayi family, the amiable visionary and noble late Dr. Iyayi Ifeona Iyayi at the age of 87 years. Iyayi, pa, Iyayi was born 87 years ago in the, com, in the Adiegba community in uh, Uhumu Ude local government area of Edo State. He was a lover of things of God and a father not only to his biological children, but to all who came in contact with him. He was an ardent lover of education. As we've been told, he never had a counter with primary, not even primary to talk about secondary school. But in his lifetime, he demonstrated what even educated people could not do. He demonstrated his love for education by the several schools he has established, the people he has given uh, scholarship to, just to promote growth and development of the society that he lives within. Late Dr. Ifeonayi, because of his philanthropy, was honored by the federal government of Nigeria with the prestigious award of the member of the Federal Republic in recognition of his contribution to development. Dr. Iyayi Ifeonayi was a man with not just a good heart, a very large good heart, who will certainly be remembered for his giant philanthropic gesture towards humanity. He invested heavily in human capacity and infrastructural development. As a friend of the University of Benin, we also enjoyed part of his uh, philanthropy. And in fact, the Iyayi building that is housing the Information and Communication Technology Center is an edifice to behold. It's standing there. I want to employ, employ all of you that have not seen that building after this ceremony. Go there and see that your father, your grandfather, your great grandfather has left a mark in the University of Benin. The management and staff of this university who heartedly commensurate with the entire members of IAI. If you know your family, we pray that God grant you the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. May his gentle soul rest in the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, this is from my vice chancellor. Now, I have this to say personally, that having listened to Caesar speak the way he spoke, and I looked at your siblings, the way they nodded, in agreement of what you are saying, it is obvious that daddy lives on. And I want to also say that from what was shown in the documentary and from what you said, Pa Efionayi did not limit his gesture to his community alone. He invested beyond borders. That he had interest. He demonstrated his philanthropy far away in Cross River State, in Plateau State. Shows the type of man he is. Now he brought development to places. And he also recognizes that once development comes, somehow you may have deviance in the society. And he gave them police station to take care of that. May God bless his gentle soul. Thank you very much. That was uh, from the Vice Chancellor and uh, Professor Azike. Thank you very much. We will listen to somebody who is especially related to the family. He came all the way from Wari. Please join me as I invite Professor J.N. Omashaye 
to talk to us about Baba, Dr. Efiana Iyayi. When one or two or three professors are gathered, you will hear prophecy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to stand on the existing protocol and particularly thank the family <clears throat> for this wonderful opportunity to pay my respect to a man that I hold in the highest esteem. I've never been to Dr. Oyeyi's house more than once or twice. We were fellow worshipers in New Benin Baptist Church. But we had so much interaction. Went to several places, funerals, weddings, and so on. And during the course of some crisis that we had in the church and various places, this mentor of mine, this big brother of mine, this Christian who practice Christian virtue, not just words, but in action. You know, the day I heard that he passed on, I didn't know what to make of it. You know, good people, good people, when they pass on, you almost want to cast as passion on our creator, which we shouldn't do. But ladies and gentlemen, as we gather to pay our last respect to a very great patriot, Dr. Yaye Fianaye, it is inevitable to reflect on who he is and what impact he has had on so many lives, especially the poor and the downtrodden. Papa Iyaye had something that he did and he thought was secret. Most times on Sundays, he would sneak from his seat, go to a corner, and had an envelope of money that he was passing on to the poor in the church. He didn't do this openly, but he would go to the back of the church and was always doing this. And I call this man a big brother, a mentor, somebody who is an epitome of Christian virtue, social justice, fair play, and firmness.